Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 Explained. Today I'm going to tell you about a feature which you probably did not know was in the game, but which does add a little touch of realism to the game. If you have been on real roller coasters and you are riding them on a day when it is not too crowded, you will often notice people going for either the front vehicles of the train or the vehicles in the back of the train. This is because if you sit in the front of the train, you will have the best view. While if you sit in the back of the train, you will often experience higher g-forces, especially the negative ones. As the back vehicle will usually pass over hills at the moment when the train is going the fastest. Sometimes real coasters have a longer queue for the front seats, and I've seen a few coasters where there was actually an extended queue for the seats in the back, usually filled with enthusiasts who want to experience some more forceful air time. In Rollercoaster Tycoon, Guests actually also prefer the front and the back seats of the coaster and will have a higher chance of choosing the first available car or the last available car on the train. This is especially visible on coasters which have been given a huge amount of vehicles using cheats. I will quickly show an example from the code that determines what vehicle guests will choose from the available vehicles in the train. And I will try to explain it in a simple way. When a guest enters a ride entrance, the function peep choose car from ride will be called. This function takes as one of its arguments an array with the available vehicles. The game then chooses a random number, takes two bits and checks if they are not both one. There's a 75% chance of this succeeding. If it succeeds, the game will choose either the first available vehicle or the last available vehicle. In the 25% chance that the check fails, the guest will simply choose a random available vehicle. The effect of this function is that guests will usually board the train with the ends of the train filling up first and the middle seats filling up a bit later. It may or may not be noticeable depending on how long your train is. Little features like these just show the kind of level of detail Chris Sawyer went through while making this game. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video about an obscure detail that was programmed into the game. If you liked it, please consider giving the video a like. It would really make me happy. Alright, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.